Morning weather and sports with Jason Bristow. Well, this is truly one of those small world stories. It all started two decades ago with a grand vision to expand American football around the globe. So would you believe that two men from Cumberland County, both pro quarterbacks, faced each other in what at that time was known as a championship of the world? CBS 21 Sports Director Jason Bristol is live in the studio for us tonight. And Jason, was this local connection a big deal back in 1991? Tanya, it wasn't. This championship game was shown around the world and this connection wasn't even mentioned on the TV broadcast. And as for those two quarterbacks, this game helped resurrect one career and it nearly ended the other. And here in Mary Old London, England, where they embraced... It wasn't the Super Bowl, but the name of this game made it sound just as important. The World Bowl. And competing against each other halfway around the globe for a world title. Leading the Dragons, quarterback Scott Ernie. Scott Ernie of Mechanicsburg and Stan Gelbaugh, who went to Cumberland Valley. Two quarterbacks who grew up less than 15 minutes from each other in Cumberland County. World League will always be my favorite season of football for me at any level. This was our home, white jersey. 20 years later, Stan pulls out that London there. uniform and the memories come rushing back. Like the sound of 61,000 fans cheering at Wembley Stadium that day for a bunch of drifters and former college stars hoping to impress NFL scouts in a startup funded by the NFL to grow the game internationally, far, far away from friends and family. I, I know we were glued to the set every, every time there was a game. Looking back now, I don't know that it was any of the games that really stand out. It was really the, the experience the that I had. Scott even appeared in a Levi's ad in Spain. 289, seam wide, all one, ready. But Stan became the real star, an MVP. He threw two touchdown passes in the World Bowl. Touchdown, Garrett. While one of Scott's throws was returned for a score. Crossman will walk in for the touchdown. London beat Barcelona 21-0. Uh, it was a good feeling. It was really good. It was kind of vindication for me. And Scott, while well, the World Bowl nearly ended his career, during the game he tore a muscle in his leg and on the flight home suffered compartment syndrome. It was the most excruciating pain I'd ever been in. His leg swelled so much, it cut off the circulation and the tissue inside died. There was even a fear he wouldn't walk again. They ended up taking this part of my muscle out. Somehow Scott managed to play one more season, but that was it. He doesn't regret putting on that jersey. I'm not sure over the years um, if, I've had, if I'd have the great family that I have now had I continued to play football. Stan continued to play and later became a starting quarterback in the NFL. And he owes it to one wild league and one big game. I don't run into too many people that, uh, you know, that have done what I did in the World League. And it wasn't the Super Bowl, but for one day, two quarterbacks from Cumberland County were on top of the world. And it was really fun to reminisce with these guys. Stan yeah. is a little older than Scott, so they never faced each other in high school. Uh, Scott lives in Carlisle. He works in the insurance industry. Stan is based in Maryland. He's the chief marketing officer for a construction company. And uh, what was neat about Stan, he later went on to the NFL, yeah. played for the Seattle Seahawks, was a starter. And um, Scott, he almost had a chance with the Broncos, but that injury kind yeah. of derailed his career. But again, it's interesting now to see these two men 20 years later. and. Um, talking with them, the memories yeah. just come rushing back. It so, was so they really cool. Started here together, well, yes. locally, yes. went a world away, and then came back. Yes, and, and because of the story, they're going to reconnect too, which is cool as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, thank you, Jason. Well, moving on tonight, uh, some people are feeling a little flush today after a local township okayed a new ordinance that could mean men and women may share public restrooms. When you're in Europe, you know they have they have. We went in France and rural France. They.